take it off after good. Hi, this is a short video diary from the from Bournemouth from the Lib Dem conference, the last one before the general election, and I'm just taking a quick break outside the conference hotel. Um, I'm not staying here, I hasten to add, although I really wish I was, um, because it's out of my budget. But I've been uh, really, really busy the last two days. I've done a couple of media interviews. I've been to several briefings um, for parliamentary candidates, and um, I've actually managed to make an in intervention in um, one of the conference motions. And I'm sure I'll be busy for the next few days, and I'll come back to you soon. <laughs> Hello, it's uh, day three of the conference and um, I'm stood on the beach as you can see with the wind blowing my hair around um, and we're just about to uh, go into the big debate which is a fresh start for Britain and how uh, the Lib Dems see that. But first of all, we're just actually doing a, a media um, interview with a few people on uh, rail franchises and uh, issues around high speed, uh, the high speed rail link. And I think for a lot of people in Durham, good idea to have a high speed rail link, but the sad thing about that is that it won't stop in Durham. So for us, the best thing we can have is to upgrade the main East Coast line and make sure that we have frequent trains that stop in Durham between Durham and London. Durham, to speak in favour of the team. Thank you. Um, I know that there's been a lot of talk this week about the press, and it's no doubt that when we, uh, which whoever takes over this country, there's going to be a, a lot of problems with the financial situation. But I think that we all also ought to be talking about what we're going to invest in. And what we should be investing in, the one thing I want to talk about today, is investing in our young people and making sure that abolishing tuition fees is one of the things days in our manifesto as a priority. Um, I think we've learned this week just how the press can twist what we say. Um, I think what we need to do is be very, very clear where we stand on this. I know that Danny said we'll plan the best package for students and I think that um, there's no doubt that we will. But I think education is actually the whole uh, basis that the country will come out of recession on and we need so much to keep educating our young people. In Durham, where I live, the average wage is £18,000. Now the average student debt this year is a lot more than that. And I think it's easy to see why young people in places like County Durham decide that they can't afford to go to university because they will end up with a debt that is more than their parents are earning. So I think we have to change that. We have to stop and, and look at the difference that abolishing tuition fees will actually make our country much more equal. We need to do that. 30 years ago, I went to a university and it was easier for students from all backgrounds to go become much, much harder in a more affluent society. And I think when we have a look at the books of this country, we need to make sure that we can afford to put the abolition of tuition fees back into it. Um, because we need, um, we have said we're going to do it differently, and I think that's one of the ways that will make the biggest difference. It will certainly make an enormous difference in County Durham to actually put many people who are socially excluded and find it difficult to compete in the mainstream of this country back in a position where they have an equal opportunity and they don't at the moment. So, thank you. Hello, it's the last day of conference here in Bournemouth and uh, today's the big day when uh, Nick Clegg's going to speak and I'll have a chat with you later to uh, let you know what I think about it. Um, but the other good thing about conference is that uh, I managed to speak twice, um, so I'm really pleased about that. Um, and, uh, you know, I think it's been um, really good for the Lib Dems and a good platform for us to start our general election campaign. <laughs> Look at what the old red-blue politics
politics offers. Labour ministers remind me of, of contestants in the Big Brother house, totally cut off from reality, plotting behind each other's backs, fighting amongst themselves about trivi trivialities, and just like Big Brother, they're about to be taken off air for good. <laughs> Back in 1997, Peter Mandelson told us to judge Labour after 10 years in government. It's been 12 years. And we have made our judgment. If you're poor, you're still far less likely to go to university than if you're better. If you're from an ethnic minority, you're more likely to be stopped by the police even when you haven't done anything wrong for a different future, a different way of doing things in Britain, if we are brave enough to make a fresh start. So let today be the day, the first day, of the future of British politics. It may only, it may be only the beginning, but it is the beginning. The beginning of real change in Britain. If you want things to be different, really different, choose the party that is different. Choose the Liberal Democrats. Thank you. Hi, this is uh, the end of the conference now. Nick Clegg's just made his speech and it was uh, really, really good. I think exactly the right tone and, and just what we need to make a difference in this country. So I'm quite infused that we'll uh, go back home now to Durham and uh, prepare to uh, fight the general election campaign and hopefully win.